import. And here we have it. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you the simplest and easiest way to import height maps into City Skylines. All the directions will be step by step in the description below. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to terrain.party. That's the website. I'll put the link in the description. So now that you're here, you load into this and you can see this blue shape area that you can drag around and pick which city you want to import. As an example, I'm just going to pick a city somewhere in the US that has a lot of mountains on it just to show you because obviously in a flat area or a flat city on flat terrain there is not going to be much change or variant of land height in your city skylines map but let's see how it would be let's just go here it doesn't have to be on a city it could be anywhere if you want to um, so from here make sure that the square itself the shape don't put it too close to what you want to include for example if I wanted to wanted to include all of Missoula Montana if you want this airport here you're gonna want to go a little bit this way because sometimes it's cut off but let's just pick this mountain area here and over to the side here over here you're gonna press the export button you can call it let's call it Missoula mountains this is going to be in your download file and sometimes it takes a while to load but on the bottom of your screen it's going to say waiting for terrain.party and here it is Missoula mountain zip so this is all you're going to want to do on this website but the next thing you have to do has to do with city skylines so you're going to open up city skylines all right, so now that you have launched up City Skylines and opened a new map in the map editor, the next step you need to do is import the height map that you downloaded on terrain.party into the game. All right, so when you load into the map editor, there's probably going to be an error message, but don't worry about it. Just exit out or click OK and everything will be fine so in your menu bar you will see the import height map option and here are all height maps that I've done before but this little folder button here you're gonna want to press this and it will open up the height map folder in your computer so the height map folder which you may not be able to find otherwise will open up in City Skylines. This is where all your height maps will be placed, but the one that you just did, the Missoula Mountain one, or any other one that you did, will not be in there because it was a download. You have to go to your download file and drag over that Missoula Mountain terrain download into your terrain height folder. Select the Missoula Mountain Terrain, and inside you'll see five terrain height maps. You're going to want to take those five and drag them over into your height maps folder, and this way it will show up in your City Skylines import height maps option. And and now you see the Missoula height maps in this button here import height map and it doesn't really matter which one you use I suggest using always the one in the bottom there are some slight differences however the one in the bottom is usually gonna give you the best results so you're gonna say import and here we have it of course the map isn't perfect but it is a very strong resemblance of the area. And I say it's not perfect because it's not going to get down to every detail, which you shouldn't expect it to. And sometimes islands that are so small in oceans, they look blocky because 
it's just too small to add so much detail to from terrain.party. But here is your map, and you can build on it now. And if you ever need to make a river, you could probably do it with sea level. Let's say about that. Let's try that. Put in full speed. And there we have the rivers from the area. But it looks like it's coming from up there. So let's play around with this and add a water source here. And I'm thinking that that's going to fill up that river, which will be great. And sometimes it's hard to tell where all the rivers are. You're going to have to go back to the Party to figure that out. It's pretty obvious that there is a river here, but I could be wrong. And there may be rivers in here. Who knows? There could be some rivers going down here. Or maybe you don't have to make it exactly the same. You can add a few rivers of your own. But... That is the simplest and easiest way to import a real world map into City Skylines that you can use to build. And it is a pretty cool idea, pretty cool concept that I will definitely use. And you can even build on your hometown, which is pretty cool. But remember, don't be surprised if you import a flat area and nothing changed because it does load in as a, just a flat map and if it doesn't change that much there's nothing you can do about it because that's what you asked the game to do remember trees will not be imported you're gonna have to put trees around here and fill up the map for example I did once a map import from Connecticut and Connecticut has a lot of trees and this map did not so I definitely wanted to put some of that in there so thanks for watching this video I hope it is the best one out there on YouTube. I will put the step-by-step -step instructions in the description with all the links that you need. And if you like the video, please like it. And if you think it is informative, please recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.